This video will be walking through basics of networking with the GC1000 safety controller. To start a new program, select Create New Configuration File. We're going to be using the GC1000 in standard mode. And we're just going to give this program file a simple name so we can look back on it later. Once you click OK, you'll be brought to the Configuration Settings screen. Once in the Configuration screen, you can start by dragging in your input devices. In this case, I'm going to be using a GLR light curtain using GC Link. Don't forget also about your output devices. In this example, I'll just be using a simple safety output. Make sure you assign the terminals to both the input and output devices. After all that's configured, you can scroll on the left hand side down to Option where you can see Ethernet IP, Profinet, UDP, Modbus TCP, and MC protocol. Here you can drag in your desired networking protocol, in this case Ethernet IP for the example, and click the gear icon to configure all the specific settings for the device. The IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. After all those settings are configured and the GC is recognized over your network, scroll on the left hand side down to communications, where you can see a reset communication input, an other communication input, and a COM out or just simple communication output. From here you can drag that into your communication outputs and assign a specific offset and bit for that communication output. Taken directly from the user's manual of the GC, you can see where the communication outputs are going to link to via assembly instance 100. Now we can see that offset 0 bit 00, 00 is where our communication output is going to be over the network and we can go to program to start configuring our application. To build out our program, we're going to drag the red output node from the GLR to the red input node of our safety output. And we're going to do the same thing for the GLR output node to the input of the communication output. You can see both of these are linked back to the same output so that when I go into simulation mode, we can see the GLR is clear. Both our safety output is on as well as our communication output. And as I turn that off, they both then turn off. One thing to notice since this is Ethernet IP, that communication output is strictly used for status and should not be used for any safety related functions of the application. You can then end the simulation and make sure to transfer everything back to your GC. If you have any questions you need help with, please feel free to give tech support a call. Otherwise, reach out to your product specialist, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.